Okay, so the thing about living in the Arctic is the huge adjustment to sunlight or lack of. It is 9.21 a.m. And I am going to show you what it looks like outside. <laughs> Nine AM. It's dark out. We can even see the stars are out still. It is dark outside. It looks like it's ten PM at night, but it's really nine twenty one in the morning. And the craziest thing about it is that we haven't even entered the days of total darkness, which is 30 days of no sun because of the winter season. This whole time I was wondering why my face felt so bare still, and it was because I was missing my liner. It's 11.23 a.m. and the sun looks like it's going to be coming out now. So what Bronte and I are going to do is try and chase the sunrise. Or catch the sunrise. It doesn't look too bad right now. So hopefully we make it in time just for that. We're going to gear up and then head on out to our favorite spot. And then, um, yeah, see how the day goes. Okay, so right now, Bronte and I are gearing up to go to our favorite hiking spot. You can see him. He's super excited. Finally getting out of the house and we're being productive, right? Do you want to go? Are you ready to go? I got my boots on. And my one sock. Are you ready? So we are at our favorite spot to go hiking. And it is snowing out. <coughs> Bronte's bandana was a little too small for his neck so I had to attach it and be creative with his collars and leash come on let's go so it's not actually around his neck it's just it's just hanging on his um his leash and stuff because it couldn't fit around his neck I don't think it gets any better than this right now. Come on. Whoa. Look at him. <laughs> oh, and FYI, his bandana fell off because he was running around too much. <laughs> the snow is getting deeper. Like this, this, I love this part just a little bit outside of the town that right there the blue and red building is the hospital and this is one of the hotels that we have we're just across the street from it behind in the trails and this is where Bronte and I come to hike probably twice a week we love it out here I love it out here he loves it out here um it's quiet I don't think you can beat this right now. It's so pretty here. Okay, so Bronte and I just got back from our little hike. I'm making lunch and I'm going to be making a cup of coffee. Um, Bronte is actually gonna get his brunch now. And we'll see what we're gonna do with the rest of the day. I'm supposed to be heading out to a friend's house to have a little play day, but we'll see how that goes. Bronte usually gets one scoop of kibble. Right now he does. One scoop of kibble, a raw egg without the shell, and his fish oil. So he loves, 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 loves eggs. Fish 
fish oil. Kind of just spread it in there. And the fish oil that I'm using is a dog supplement called Troop Advance. And I got it from Loyalty Dog Treats. It's filled with omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E. Um, it's herring oil. Just because huskies in general have a zinc deficiency. And within their ancestral diet, it used to be a lot of fish and salmon. So he really needs a lot of that back. Just because he has a little bit of a zinc rash on his elbow and I don't want it to get any worse so that's what he's going to be having for his meal and this is what his meal looks like okay you ready to eat you ready okay so it turns out I am a little too lazy to be heading out right now or today. So instead I'm going to be doing a couple English classes later at around seven. So Bronte and I are just going to be chilling at home, watching Netflix. It's snowing outside and I still have my cup of coffee. So I'm probably just gonna watch a Christmas movie or something, take a little nap and um, maybe edit this later when I'm done my classes. And uh, yeah, so I decided on a movie. And let me just tell you. I'm waiting for my man. Everything we've been through? Kish, I'm sorry. Come on, what is she?